Zoom. All right, guys, we're gonna try this again. So <laughs> you don't know we're, this. We're gonna try this again. <laughs> she, Kaki took a bite of her steak, and I guess it was a fatty piece, and she choked. So we had to stop everything. Now she's she doesn't even know if she's gonna eat the steak. It looks good. Besides the brown stuff on top. Derek, are you okay? Glad you're okay. Yeah, she's yeah, a trooper. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm okay. I choked on my steak. I it happens, like guys. Such an idiot. <laughs> was that a, was that a worse choke than you did in the city? No, I want to say it's like equal. I don't know. Yeah, I never know if you're choking because you don't say nothing, and I guess that's like the normal thing to do. If you I choke. didn't want to say anything because I was like I was choking, but like. Yeah, but if I were to just keep on talking, you kind of just would have. <laughs> I would have just passed out and like died. <laughs> I don't know. I'm laughing about it now. I'm okay. I'm, guys, I'm okay. Such an easy All night. All I heard was a gasp, yeah. <laughs> but I always have to ask you, are you choking? <laughs> and you just kind of, then you... I don't want to, like, embarrass myself. <laughs> like, yeah, I'm choking. Like, yeah. I don't want to, like, choke and die. Well, choking is guys. not embarrassing. It happens. You know? Just take smaller bites. Look at the big Well, bite. I didn't think I took a big bite. I remember I, I choked I on a. Bite. I remember I choked on a chicken nugget once. That has happened to me before. Something with bubbles will help it go down. <clears throat> you have That's to, why I tried to drink some wine, <laughs> trying to force it, it down. What's up, Jimmy Jam? You have one more take, and I'm out. You hear that, cupcake? <laughs> like baseball, it's one, one two, two, three, three strikes, strikes, and you're out here. <laughs> Tread lightly. My eyes are on. You just peek over your shoulders and wave. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad I'm okay too. <sighs> yeah. So scary Damn steak. Steak. It's scary. You eat steak a lot more than I eat steak. I'm not I know. Big... I eat steak all the time. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of steak. Hello, Sam. I'm sorry you choked. I'm sorry too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it is a frightening feeling. It's very scary. And I thought, well, like once I took a sip of something, I would like force it down, but it didn't. Mm. Big Brother is here. Well, thank you, Jimmy Jam. Well, guys, I got right up. I got right up and did what I had to do. I gave her the... the yes, you know, did. The, you know, the, I don't know how to do the Heimlich, the Heimlich maneuver, though. I probably would have looked like an idiot. You'd be like, what the hell is he trying to do? Is he trying to do the Heimlich maneuver? <laughs> I just know the, the, pat the, the pat on the back. No, the Heimlich maneuver is like right above the belly button. Mm -hmm. I gotta Smarty push shoe. up and in. Yeah, it's not, yeah, the Heimlich maneuver is not hard. You've got to push there's up and then some, in. Well, there's something you're supposed to do. You're supposed it's to... It's like right above the belly button. I got and my... you have to, like, full force. Catherine. Yeah, she's okay. She just choked on some steak. Yeah, I'm okay. You scared uh, us. I'm sorry. I scared myself, too. I, I scared myself. If I, if I choked like that, I don't think I would want to continue eating whenever I choked that. So I understand if you're not going to eat that. Yeah, I don't think I want the steak anymore. And I love steak, guys. You know I love steak. Texas, you say you have three lives doing it. Wow. I've seen that. So scary. Thank you. Yeah, it's very scary. <clears throat> hello, Munchkin. Did you say hello to Munchkin? Hello, my Mel. She said you scared her. I'm so sorry. I think you scared, scared everybody. You. I scared myself. Here's the thing. I didn't want to. I didn't want to stop all three things and then and then go attend to her. So I just kind of let everything roll and then I then I stopped it once I knew she was okay. Thought you were X Pac for a second. No, just his younger brother. Not as talented as him either. Uh, all right. So what we're eating? Let's start this over again. Kaki's got steak and shrimp with mushrooms and onions and green and beans. Green beans. I'll give you guys a close up. Considering I had to uh, um, erase the last one. And then I've got a Caesar salad with shells and pasta sauce. I'm like <coughs> very, very, very low on calories tonight. <clears throat> so uh, I don't really have an appetite. But still a good meal. Hello, Caroline. Hi, everyone. Just heading to bed and seeing you alive. Glad you're okay, Gaggy.
Thank you. Thank you, Caroline. Hello, Cortland. Episode that leaves you feeling shaky and weak, so scary. Yeah. I don't like choking. Did you ever choke in school? No. I choked in first grade when I was in Georgia, mm -hmm. and I was sitting on the bench and I choked on a chicken nugget. And it was the last time I had a chicken nugget up until, I think, ninth grade, 10th grade. I choked on a jelly bean when I was probably our daughter's age. And the jelly bean was stuck to like Easter grass, which is why I never use Easter grass in our kids' baskets because uh, such a horrible, horrible experience. I choked on a jelly bean that was stuck to Easter grass, and then my mom ended up pulling the Easter grass, and the jelly je the jelly bean came out, and that was I remember that I was probably like six or seven years old. Yeah, that was terrifying, terrifying. Uh... I hate choking. So it's a traumatic story. Yeah. I choked on a peppermint candy. candy. Yeah. Hi, mom and dad. Well, hello. <laughs> We're mom up? and dad. <laughs> Remember Mama Cash from the mamas and the papas choked to death on a ham sandwich? No. Who's Mama Cash? Do you know that? And... Mama Cash from the mom. I mean, I know the mamas and the papas. Who? What is that? It was a band. Mamas and the papas. She died eating a ham sandwich. I guess so. I don't know. I don't know. The mamas and the papas. They have. They have that. Um. All the bellies are brown. I know this. I I know that song, but yeah, it's Mamas and Papas. Mamas goes choked on a ham sandwich. Holy crap! I didn't. I'm shaking. Jamie, you don't know who Mama Cass is. Never heard. I know that song. I don't know. I never heard Mama Cass and the Papas. My sister choked on steak when we were kids. It took forever to come out, but it did. It was scary to watch. Is that why you don't like steak, my milk? she choked on it. I don't blame you because honestly, I don't want to eat that. <laughs> I don't want to eat that now. My throat was sore to begin with. Uh, <clears throat> funny story for Jamie and Kagi this time. I personally know it choked when my hand clenched their throat. I meant it. I meant if you saw their bulging eyeballs, you would have laughed too. It was hilarious. <laughs> I kid. LOL. Last week I swallowed a part of a tortilla chip and it didn't chew it and it scraped my throat. Ouch. Yeah, that sucks. I've done that with Doritos. Yeah, I've done that with chips. I've done that with chips. She didn't choke to death. She had a hit. She had a heart attack. So she had a heart attack because she was choking? Maybe she was having a heart attack. That's why she choked. Oh, Cortland, you dirty old man, you. Cortland says I've but choked never on many food. things. <laughs> never food. Leave it to Court to make a joke out of it. Hell yeah, Court. Well, anything to lighten up the mood. We're, <laughs> Seriously. We're, we're okay. Kaki's a little shook. I'm a little shook. Um, but we could change the subject. We don't have to keep on talking about choking. That's like a downer. Uh, she lived for food, drinking, and drugs. You always choke on your chocolate. Choke on chocolate. I've never choked on chocolate. Chocolate has never, never tried to kill me, ever. Just steak. And cheesy garlic nuts. Hi, Debbie Baker. That's why we're, mm. when we go back to Frank's from East Village Pizza, we're not going to do cheesy garlic nuts no. ever again. Yeah, your salad does look good. What? Your salad looks good. You want some? Mm, no. I'll try a piece of shrimp, you try my salad. You guys have... You're not going to uh, like my shrimp, because it has lime on it. Not a big fan of lime. Do you guys have a St. Paddy's Day parade? Uh, I don't know. We do, but we never go. We're not really Irish. Hold on. <laughs> We're not really Irish. That's not why we... I'm not... No. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. 
Well, we're not, but we well, don't really celebrate St. Paddy's Day. We're not much of uh, like what St. Paddy's Day. You do the parade. You do a little bit of day drinking, right? Yeah, I did that one time with my best friend, and that was fun. But you're on YouTube, not on TikTok. Well, whatever you like better. What's I the age difference? Go. One year. Between us, who do you think is older? What? Faded? Hey guys, spring starts next week. Packing yet for the move? No. No, no, no. We, we're not going to have a, a whole lot to pack. <coughs> we're getting yeah. rid of a lot of stuff. So the whole packing situation is not going to take more than a week. If that. Hello, Paul, right? Greetings, Jamie. I discovered you on TikTok several months ago. You're in... Uh, Hello, Kelly. Green eggs and ham on St. Patrick's Day. That's Hold on, Becky. I'm going to need you up on this one. Pronouncing this one. You're an avid, avid grade artist? I don't know if I've ever heard that word. Where did you Slash see? master <laughs> chef like Gordon Ramsay. Well, that's very nice of you, but I'm no chef. Where did you see that? On YouTube, not TikTok. Monitor's right there. Avant garde artist? Am I saying that right? Avant garde artist slash master chef like Gordon Ramsay. Uh, I was looking at your videos from two years ago. You have certainly gotten fit. Jogging does the body good. Well, thank you very much. I've got shells and pasta and then a Caesar salad. I'm Very gonna, light dinner really, tonight. really, really, thin so I don't choke and die. <laughs> uh, I thought you left. I, I thought you left. I looked a while ago and it said it live ended. Yeah, we had to stop it because... We had to stop because I choked. Kaki was choking on her steak. So we stopped it and then gave her a breather and she said she was ready to go and we went back on. How was our day? Good. Yeah, I don't have any complaints about today. Other than feeling like crap most of the day, but... Yeah, Kagi was kind of under the weather, and then I was go, go, go for the most part. We, uh, I got home from work, and then I started doing my headband, and then I took my son to wrestling. Then I came home and finished my headband, then I went for my run, then I came home and showered. Uh, then we set up, then we did dinner. It was, uh, it was like no downtime whatsoever besides like 15, 20 minutes to edit a couple of videos tonight. But the day was good. I'm happy tomorrow's Friday. I'm very excited. I'm very excited I'm happy that the weekend is here. Friday only because that's one day closer to my weekend. My milk, I just like to tell you, my milk, just like I tell my daughter, chew your food right. Yeah, chew my food right. I know. I got chewed better. <laughs> got I said, why you eat like an animal? I wasn't eating like an animal. Jamie, do you wear your hair in a ponytail at work? No. I wear it in like a Thank hide. you, princess pants. I'm okay, girl. I'm good. I'm not a ponytail. It happens. I'm not a ponytail guy. I never have been. I wear it in like a messy bun with a black headband. Hmm. So. When the pasta sounds like it's what's going to happen later. <laughs> Not tonight. <laughs> you guys still talking about my creativity? Thank you very much. <laughs> mm. I excel at gourmet, comma, any shells and cheese and instant mashed potatoes. There's nothing wrong with that. There's Those are very that. good dinners. Like, I was, I have a mashed potato idea. Um, that I was actually thinking about doing tonight. Uh, but yeah, no, those are easy, easy peasy meals. WWE one two three quid? Question mark. Uh, why do you wear bandanas on your ankle while you cook? You're awesome, dude. Just wondering. Thank you very much. Uh, these are not headbands on my ankle. These are homemade ankle accessories. Jamie, what kind of work do y'all do? Eh, it varies. Uh, depends on the day. <laughs> What's up, Nelson? How are you? Hello, Nelson. 
Nelson, you missed me almost dying. <laughs> Nelson Kagi decided to take big bites of her steak and she legit choked for like what seemed like five minutes, but it was only probably a minute. It was probably like a minute and a half. Do you like my salad? Mm-hmm. You could pick it. I love Caesar mm -hmm. salad. Can we get you a fork and you could pick at it? No. I'm actually not really that hungry now. Do you have a podcast? I mean, I, I guess... Yeah, Jamie to the rescue. Seriously, Jamie to the rescue. I, it's not necessarily a podcast. I mean, we have the YouTube channel that has our live dinners. And I... Is, does that make it a podcast? Would you say this is considered a video podcast? I guess it's a fancy word for it. You can't go back, Nelson. It was deleted. <clears throat> I don't have many friends, but my best friends, for the last time, did the unthinkable. What happened, Kelly? Do you ever wear pants? No. No, I don't. Jamie never wears pants. I don't wear pants at work. I don't wear pants going on my runs. I don't wear pants. He doesn't wear pants when going I'm to bed. Home. I know I don't. I would. I my legs are always out. They're always out. I don't like pants. I will be wearing pants on Tuesday night when we go into the city. I'm gonna dress up nice. I'm gonna dress up somewhat nice. Nicer than you guys are usually seeing me. Actually, I don't have any pants. I cut them all. You're obsessed with the spicy ketchup? Me too, my milk. I love spicy ketchup. You don't wear big boy pants? I don't wear pants, period. Yeah, I don't he doesn't like wear them. pants at all. I don't like. I don't wear pants because I don't like them. I don't wear socks because I don't like those. And I don't wear underwear because I hate underwear. I don't wear underwear either. I don't yeah. like underwear. No underwear, no socks, no, um, no pants. I wear socks, though. Because I don't want to have stinky feet. But I don't want underwear. I don't have stinky feet, and I never wear socks. Uh, you did me wrong. Yeah, what she did me you? wrong. A raised child gets deeper, but over one disagreement, she took me off of oh, Facebook. Perfect. Oh, wow. Well. You know what? You don't need somebody like that, Kelly. Yeah. This is going to sound pretty messed up. You don't need people like that in your life. This is going to sound pretty messed up. And I don't mean to offend anybody. Kelly, maybe you will agree with me. Because I know there are certain people that have this mindset. I don't. I get spicy ketchup from your local supermarket, and it's delicious. My milk. Are you a vegan? No. No. Um, I don't like. I don't. I don't. Am I a vegan? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I feel I'm better off without friends. I feel I'm a crappy friend. So I feel, and. Honestly, I'm always worried about being, like, uh, screwed over. Because I was a real douchebag when I was younger, so it's almost like that karma. I have a feeling like, it, like I have a feeling like the karma is going to get me. 20 years of friendship, it shows that she didn't really give a... Yeah, I get that, girl. <laughs> it's been that many years, and then all of a sudden, she's like, boom. Yeah. Oh, Kelly? Yeah, 20 years of friendship. Yeah, that will hurt. I'm not going to lie. That's going to hurt. Kagi's had older friends that she doesn't... Once she got with me, they didn't, they didn't necessarily like me, so they kind of bounced. Most of them. Well, yeah, I the literally one. had like three friends. Yeah. We all hung out together, and then we just stopped. Do you like Harry's or... Every man, Jack, shower, girl. I don't, Paul, I don't know what, what that is. I don't know what that is either. I've never heard of that. Um, is that like, what is that? These croutons stink, Kaki, dude. What kind of croutons did you pick up? Garlic and cheese. Stop and shop brand. I have three friends. And you enjoy your small circle. I used to have two friends, 
But now I only have one. Now she got me. That's it. I got my bestie. That's it. Yeah, and me. I got Jamie. Well, you got me. You got me. That's all she need. And guess what? You're all I need. And then we got Jimmy Jam together. That's all we need. I don't count Katie. I count Katie. I don't count Katie. You, you don't, don't gotta count her. You She's not your friend. She's my friend. You don't see her enough to count her. I'm just messing with you, Katie. <laughs> Listen, she, I talk to her every single day. I know you do. I was just joking around. I, I like Katie a lot. And I really do think... If That's we, my bestie. Hold on. I really do think... And this will never happen. So, But I'm just saying this. I really do think if we ever did something where... Hey, we became neighbors and it was like not hard to see them enough. I think I would get along very well with, uh, with uh, Frank. Eric? Eric, I'm joking. Jersey. Absolutely. But you guys have a lot in common. That's what you More said last time. Than you think that you do. You have three good friends for 30 years? Yeah, I don't have that. I have. I have Jamie for the past 16 years. And then I have my friend Katie for the past, I don't know, about 12. Katie, mm -hmm. how long were you with me when you met her? I didn't mean her until after. How long were you with me? A couple of years. Okay. So. When I went to a different store, and that's when I met her. And she was like 16 at the time. And our bonding words were, she goes, do you like gossip? I will, Jimmy, hold on. She goes, do you like gossip? I'm like, hell yeah, I love gossip. She goes, okay, we'll get along just fine. <laughs> and then we bonded from there. <laughs> Do you like gossip? Of course I love gossip. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I love gossip. Jimmy Jam goes, she's your bestie now, question mark. Jamie, ask me who I let go of when they're dangling from a cliff. Only one must survive, you or her. <clears throat> who is Jimmy Jam going to let go of? You. I don't, I don't know about that. I think... I'm confident enough to say that he's letting your ass drop. Nope. Jimmy Jam, be honest. I talk to Jimmy Jam more than you do. I don't talk to anybody. <laughs> not even you. I, that's how I know I'm safe. That's I'm, how I know I'm not getting dropped off a cliff. <laughs> I'm a firm believer, Jimmy Jam. I'm a firm believer you're gonna you're you're not letting go of me. Hello, Tina. How are you? My sister was my best friend in the whole world. Well, I'm Jamie's bestie. She just traded me in for a fake lashes Katie. Told you, you're like going off the cliff. No, I'm not going off the cliff. No, I'm not going off the cliff. Uh, who said save khaki, Jimmy? JB3. Save khaki, Jimmy. <laughs> Why my First of all, is we, all, very good. we all know that Jimmy would save me. No. Yes, he would. Listen, this is a sore subject for you, so we could stop talking about it. That's a sore subject for you. No. Actually, you know what? When was I... the last time you actually spoke to Jimmy Jam? Ask me when the last time I talked Mine to Mine was any... the other day. Ask me when's the last time I talked to anybody on the phone. <laughs> I'm not good, and this is what I and this is when I say before I'm a bad friend. I'm I'm not like if you were to open my text messages, it's all work related, and half of those messages I don't even return. I'm just not good at it anymore. I used to be. I completely agree. I lost, Nora lost almost all of my friends from school. Yeah, I have zero friends from school. Zero friends left from school. The friends that I have now are the friends that I made in my adult life. Yeah. Well, I don't have any friends from school. But I bet you if, the, if, if, if things were reversed and we were going to your neck of the woods when it comes to wrestling and you saw 
older acquaintances, people that you knew back then, you probably start up conversations, Well, right? yeah. Okay. Do you know how many people I see? I'm sure you see a bunch. A lot. But you don't choose to do that. No. No, I don't. And you don't I'll tell to do you, that. Not sure. some of it, some of it, because I see like these people that I've known almost, almost my whole life, and now they've grown up, they got really good jobs. And it's like, some of them are teachers, some of them are coaches. And then I'm like, you reflect on yourself. This is how I'm, I'm looking at it. And I feel like I'm nowhere near as accomplished as what, you know, they're doing. Like, they got the whole 10, 9, y nine yards thing. Like, they're actually a grown up. I, in, my, in my head, I don't feel like I'm a grown up. I still don't feel like I'm a grown up. I don't know if that's like, that means, if that's bad. Kagi, do you have a TikTok? I do have a TikTok. That will say, hey in the chat, or whoever wants to like, go check it out. That's why I think if I went to my school reunion, thingy majiggy, whenever that is, I would probably. I know, mine's coming up next year. Want to just drink. Because I year reunion feel bad. For me. <laughs> Coming up next year. Running is one of the... I request Mike and the mechanic silent running in one of your videos. videos. Oh, hello, Anna. Hi, Good Anna. Hi, Anna. Does anybody... Has anybody ever did that? Gone to, like, a school reunion and then seen... I never... Old people that you went to school with and you see how successful they are and then you kind of look at yourself and you think, oh, well, I'm not that successful and kind of makes you feel pretty mm -hmm. damn crappy about yourself. I will tell you that right. I've never gone to a school reunion, but... Hi, Charlene. I'm friends with a lot of people that I went to high school with on Facebook. And I see, like, their jobs and how successful they are. I'm just like... Yeah. Here I am. Oh, Living well. the dream with me. Slap that hand. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, they don't know about this, but this is fun, though. This is fun. But you can't go through life just having fun. Lots of people lie at reunions, and they sugarcoat it. Yeah. Mhm. Mm I mean, I have my 20-year reunion coming up next year. Forgive me. Uh, thankful that Jamie saved you. Looked like you were in trouble. I did save her, <laughs> Nelson. I did. Yeah, I was really in trouble with my 4.0 grade grade point average. <laughs> I was really in trouble. <laughs> uh, 2003 grad? No, mm -hmm. for me, 2004. I was 2003. And I technically didn't even finish. So I don't even think I would be qualified to join the reunion. Mm -mm. I do, you, I would, you right? I would have graduated. I didn't finish school, so I wouldn't get an invitation. I bet you a lot of people wouldn't go, so they would give me a pity invitation. All of my high school friends and I are on Facebook. Went to the 20 reunion. I see through the cracks. Yeah, I'm sure. Hmm. I'm sure there are definitely like cracks. <laughs> 1999. I was in a, yeah. You know what, Nelson? Stop making me feel old. 1999 I don't, I don't, seems like a very. I remember that. I remember nine. I remember the year 1999 probably better than any other year. Um, in my like teenage years. Hmm. <clears throat> Court said the same. And Marie says she's class of 1978. I was listening to Elvis Duran in the morning show the other day, and they were talking about songs that just turned 20 years old. Marie, you're the same age as my mom. Like what my mom, my mom's age, like what she would have been if she was, you know, still here. When I was going to work the other day, mm -hmm. Elvis Duran had a list of songs that turned 20 years old. Ready for this? I remember a couple of them. Go ahead. Complicated by Avril Lavigne. 20 years, 20 years old. old. Missy Elliott. Meet your dick a dick a damn friend. Mm-hmm. Whatever that song is yep. called. Oh, holy 20 years crap. old. Crap. Yeah, we're old. Yeah. Our our songs are gonna start playing like the oldies channels. <laughs> On the radio. You saw soon. that, Courtland? 
Yeah, work it. Let me work it. Come and thing that flip and then reverse it. <laughs> Twenty years. Is your flip and thing thing it? <laughs> Twenty freaking years. <clears throat> yeah. It was only a matter of time before our cool music ended up on like the old station. Our cool music <laughs> is still cooler than the crap that's on today. Hmm. No offense, guys. That's what old people say. No, because even <laughs> the music that is older than us is cooler than my music. That you know what I mean? Oh, Jimmy Jam knocked that shit off. I go. swear, though. I feel 21. Body says different, but my mind is forever 21. You know what, Court? Hello from Belgium. I feel like I should live my life like I'm 21. And just like live the rest of my life like I'm 21. Yes, we do like, do intermittent fasting. Not a care in the world. Just live my best life. You agree with me, Sam? Uh, Jamie, how was your run? It was okay. It wasn't the best tonight. 10 minute paced. Uh, yeah, where does the time go, my milf? It freaking flies by, and then all of a sudden you're like, damn. That's why... I'm not full that long. Oh, well, I'm older than Kaki. You're older than me, Samantha. Yep, everything is getting old. I mean, Nora, including you. on the other hand, she's new kids on the block old. Yeah, so am I. I'm new kids on the block old, too. It's a Caesar salad. That's why... You're turning 40 in September. Well, I just turned 38, so you're not that much older than me. Before you know, you're going to be 46 years. years old. Looking back, like, I remember when I was 37. And you're going to turn 50. And then you're going to be still asking yourself, where did the time go? Why didn't I do this? Why didn't I do that? If only you had that constant reminder. Every time you wanted to take it easy. Oh, Jamie, are you every going... Every time you wanted to relax. Are you going to sing to me on the 14th? That's Marie's birthday. Uh, sure. Shoot me a reminder, though. 40s are oh, the best decade. I'm older than Jamie and Khaki put together. <laughs> oh, no. Who's that? <laughs> Hold on. Ski Boo said I'm older than Jamie and Khaki put together. I highly doubt that. I highly doubt that. My friends, all my friends with money really didn't enjoy life. I made sure to enjoy it, even if I have regrets. Yes, Court, I would agree with you on that one. Dude has to be in WWE. No. I turned them down a couple times. Best years of my life were 94, <laughs> 95. Then in 96, my sis came into the world and like, damn can't get spoiled now <laughs> so yeah what your, you best... your best year my best year your favorite year being alive pick one one year I want to say you you met me no Um, Can't pick 17, the kids because, no, because 17 it, into 18. Like, when I turned 17 to 18, I was given a car. I was given so many things. You're talking about, like, the funnest time or your favorite time, right? Yeah, I know like, mine. my most from my most memorable time was my 17, my 18th birthday. Yeah, my 18th birthday. All right. I don't really have a favorite time that I could, like, I could look back to a degree, because, so you, when you first, I guess, like, my favorite, actually, my short and Eric days like were the best, before, I, before, before you, before, that led up to you, it led up to you, but, like, before I had kids, like, my childhood, I guess it would be considered my childhood, yeah, I guess you would consider that my childhood, like, my 18th birthday, I was given a car. I was given so many things. Like that's something I don't think I'll, I'll ever forget. Thank you, Ski Boo. That's not something I'll ever forget. Like, yeah. Just like that first birthday, like where you're considered to be like an adult, and mm -hmm. like you have these freedoms, and like you were given. I was given a car. 
Yeah. Well, I was... My first car, not so much, but my second car. And this is why I say it. Say that if I had to pay... I don't remember what year it was, but it was... It was me, Sean, and Eric every single night hanging out. Going to do karaoke. Going to diners. Going to Hooters. After wrestling. <laughs> every night. Oh, well, Nelson. If we didn't have work the next day, we would lay by the pool. And eventually, they dragged me to go see, to go do karaoke, and that's where I met Khaki. So, geez, I mean. And I turned them down quite a few times. Never saw myself being a karaoke guy. I mean, shit, I was there every week. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was there all the time. I know. Found out later. I never get a car except the one I bought at 17, but have been given three as an adult. I did it, I did it right. I did it right. See, I was given a car for my 18th birthday. I was never given a car. I was. I was. I, I, my uncle, well, it wasn't actually, a car. I was, I was given, yeah. It was actually, it was like, it was a truck. I was given a truck. A really, really big truck. And I forget what it was called. It was a Jeep. No, it was not a Jeep. It was a GMC. It was a GMC Jimmy. That's, That's what a it was Jeep. Given. I think it's a Jeep. No, it's not. It's a GMC Jimmy. If it was a Jeep, it'd be called Jeep. My I was given a GMC Jimmy. No car payments. No, my uncle gave it to me for my birthday. Oh wow! See, I got car. Both my car, my first car. My mom. It was his. And my he dad. The car and gave it to me. My mom and dad paid for the down payment. And then I paid for the payments. In my second car, same thing. And then as an adult, when we first had our son, I got the what we have now. Mm -hmm. Well, we're due for a new car. We need a new car. I know. Do we get another SUV site, or do we get a car? No. I don't, I want a crossover. I don't want a minivan. I want like a crossover. What's a crossover? I'm not a car guy. Kind of like what your mom has. Like a crossover. Okay. I was thinking about like a Mustang. <laughs> yeah. Let's get a Mustang with two kids. Yeah. When they're out of car seats. <laughs> What's wrong with the Mustang? No. How's your ear, Jamie? <laughs> it's getting better. It's actually getting better. It's either getting better or I'm getting used to it. It's one or the other. I think I'll have a better... <laughs> well, damn, Court. You put my first car to shame. What do you get? He got an Audi. <laughs> my parents were well off, and I was the youngest of three. First car was an Audi 4. I was spoiled. Yes, you were spoiled. I got a, I got a recycled GMC Jimmy. I don't think they make those anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what it looks like. <laughs> it was it was like um it was a truck. Thank you, Yoga with Jenny. Appreciate that. I want a Mustang. I would love a Mustang. I want a Mustang. My wanna... sister, my sister has a Mustang. Tom's got a Mustang. Yeah. I want Tom and Billie Jean. They have Mustang, and my sister Maria, she's got a Camaro. I want a Mercedes. That's. I'm not even a car guy, but if I got to pick the car, like if I met someone and I said, listen, you get to pick any car out in the world, whatever you want. It's your car. Just tell me what kind you want. I would say a Mercedes. You a uh, Mustang? I had an Escort that I paid for. Your first car was an Acura? Well, that's fancy, Nelson. I don't even think they make the first car that I had. What kind? I had a I had a GMC Jimmy and then I had Ford a Mazda. Escort. I had a Mazda and then I had a really ugly green Hyundai Accent for yeah. the longest time. That green Hyundai Accent it wasn't that bad. It got us from point A to point B. <laughs> yeah, I guess it did. For many, many, many years, that car lived a very long life. 
Every time I would bring it to the mechanic, they'd be like, it's still ticking? Yeah, it's still going. I got every mile out of that car. When I bought that car, it had like 25,000 miles on it. And we put a whole bunch of miles on that sucker. I think we're going to get a nice car. I think something's going to happen and we're going to be able to do it. Mm, I hope so. A spring for the big chickens, cat. <clears throat> my first car was a Cavalier. Great car. And on gas. Yeah. You know what? My grandparents had a Cavalier. And I was hoping to inherit that, but I didn't. My grandfather oh. ended up buying me... Ford Escort. I thought you were talking about something different. They might have been. After my, <laughs> um, my GMC Jimmy took a crack. He took me for my graduation present and bought, when I graduated high school, bought me a Stay car there, and he running. bought Thank me a you, Mazda. Thank you, Charlene. I'm, bought, I'm, hold on. Before you go, I'm not, uh, it's not that I don't want to sing. I don't feel right singing because of my whole ear situation. I don't want you to think I'm ignoring you. Drive a Cavalier. And a, I love Cavaliers. My, my grandparents had one. <clears throat> <sighs> oh, man. I kind of want dessert. So we got our own Reese's? <clears throat> we do. It's gonna, I know it's gonna screw me. What did I say my calories were? 1,200, 1,100? It's like 11 something. Do you wanna split one? If you want, I bought one for each of us, but. Yeah, you can go get it. Or I'll get it. My friend who has a Tesla laughs at me cause he don't gotta worry about gas now. Yeah, well, guess what? He can get locked out of his car anytime. <laughs> Let Tesla have that malfunction. <laughs> I've starved all day. I don't know car. why I've been hungry. You do you you do fasting, JB? I follow somebody on TikTok who has a Tesla, and all he ever complains about is how his Tesla never cooperates. Don't rip the calories. I wanted to see something before you did it. It's 200 for the whole thing. So it's 100. What kind is this? Oh, it's marshmallow. Top. Marshmallow top. You can have it. Never mind. I don't do marshmallows, Kathy. Why Try it, though. Mm -hmm. I don't like marshmallows. Oh, just... You liked it the last time. Never had it. Yes, you have. A Rolls Royce with, the, with a chauffeur like Anthony Michael Hall and 16 <laughs> Candles. The boyfriend has As a, a Tesla, Tesla, a Tesla junk. junk. Yeah. There's somebody I follow on TikTok. And his name is Brian the Diamond. And he's constantly complaining about his Tesla and how he gets locked out of it. And it's like a whole big deal. Like, he hates it. Like, he loves his Tesla, but, like, he hates it at the same time. Why does it look like that? Is it melting? Yeah. All right, let me try a bite of it. Why is it melting? It's not hot. I don't know. Yeah. It's truth. <laughs> not for me, dog. Yeah, he goes on like these huge rants for it. If I were to like... I'm going to send you one of his TikToks because I think you'll like him. Because he's like uh, really funny. The worst Reese's I've ever tasted. I never had that before, Kat. Well, good luck, Tyson, tomorrow on your new job. Fort, I'm going to send you one of his videos where he goes on a rant. Not a fan on YouTube? Question mark? <laughs> Didn't do anything? What? I don't know what that means. What do you but mean? But Fort, I'm going to send you a video. I'll send you a TikTok of him because he's hilarious. Oh, I love him very much. I picture you driving... A BMW. I was going to say... I can totally picture Fort oh, driving BMW. Cortland, I can see you driving a BMW, too. Oh, you know what I'll do? Ignoring comments on YouTube? No. Oh, no. I don't do that. If I miss them sometimes, but you I don't ignore them. You can miss comments, but we're not ignoring you. <clears throat> Need to get back into counting calories, still doing one meal a day? Well, good for you, Munchkin. It could be a burden. I get it. Um, What's your name on YouTube? And I can go back and look. Um, it could be, I understand, if you're new into counting calories and weighing out your food, it's going to take a little bit of time to get used to, but once you start doing it for a while, um, it will get easier, and eventually, 
you won't have to go so so crazy and you'll start to know what servings look like. I'm very lucky. Khaki does the weighing out and, and you know, all that stuff. I do. So, but Jesus, if I was the one that was doing that every single night, I would be doing it like uh, Sunday, Monday. And then I wouldn't have to worry about Monday. I would kind of rotate to make it easier for myself. I would try to get an idea of what I want to do. Or I would do like a whole package, just 300 calories or something. Uh, and that, but what saves me is I don't, I don't really do butter. I don't do oil. I don't, I don't do dressing. Very rare. I do dressing, like condiments, just ketchup. Always commenting. Hope you guys are good. <clears throat> Thank you very much, man. I'm sorry I missed your comment on YouTube. Didn't mean to do it. You're not finishing the rest of your steak. No. Right. Oh, I didn't like that peanut butter cup. So I'm full though. Yeah, I don't ever want to. Mm -hmm. Kids might like it. Well, what was your? Well, first of all, what's your TikTok name? I'm not. What's your YouTube name? Just so I can keep an eye out. That's what I want to know. Mm, counting toothpicks like. Rain Jane Man. Train. Well, sometimes comments will pop up on YouTube and the guys and girls in there. Oh, Jay Gunther. I didn't see that tonight pop up. I said hello to you. I did. I saw him pop up. I said hello to you. But what I was going to say was sometimes in the comments on YouTube, the guys and the girls in there will have conversations with themselves. So I don't yeah. want to just read their conversations out loud. What do the buttons say if you don't mind me asking? Well, one doesn't have batteries. The cursed one doesn't have the batteries. The one that says F blank 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 oh. doesn't have batteries. And the other one is a fart button. This one's a, <laughs> a, a fart button. This gives different fart sounds. Jake Gunther, I know you. I remember you from YouTube. And I'm sorry if we didn't see you. <laughs> and then the other button that just says a lot of curse words. You ready for bed? Yes. All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow for pizza. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you Hello, guys Johnny. for all your concerns about Miss Kakadu choking on her steak. Yes. <clears throat> I'm still alive and kicking. I'm still here, thank God. <laughs> I'm still here. Good night, guys. Have a good night.